A day after a bomb plot against Fort Hood was foiled, the suspect had a few choice words in a federal courtroom today. And Nasser Abdo's words may hint at the motivation behind the plot that may have targeted restaurants near the Army Post. Chris Sodigy has more on what happened in court today, and he also spoke to people at a restaurant that got a visit from investigators. The alleged attack was going to focus on killing Fort Hood soldiers, but it wouldn't have happened inside of Fort Hood. That's why some people surrounding the Army Post are feeling a little uneasy whether they're a soldier or not. Just across the street from Fort Hood sits Mission Taco. Come in at any hour, you'll probably find a soldier, but Friday you also found some head shaking. He's born in Texas, American citizen, and then he wants to pull this stuff. This man works in construction on Fort Hood, a place that's seen violence before and now just skirted more. It makes lunch a little harder to digest. You feel kind of unsafe out here, too. But 60 miles away, the security was airtight as Nasir Abdu appeared in a Waco courtroom, but showed little respect for it, refusing to stand before the judge and then shouting the names of Fort Hood shooting suspect Nadal Hassan and an Iraqi girl who was raped and killed by U.S. soldiers in 2006. An affidavit was then unsealed showing Abdu's backpack and hotel had all the things one would need to blow things up. Clocks, wire, gunpowder, pressure cookers, and a bomb-making magazine article. And the targets would be restaurants soldiers often visited, just like Mission Taco. We didn't know until CID came in, and then we looked it up on the Internet, and that's how we found out about it. Janet Boyd, who has an Army husband, says they didn't know about the plot until the investigators walked in from across the street. We were just asking some questions about uh, if we had any security cameras and if we knew any information or had heard or seen of him. It's a close call at a place that sits very close by, and a place that still has a tragic November 2009 memory that is never far away. It's a constant, you know, reminder of what had happened, but you just have to pray and just let, you know, what's going to happen happen and trust our government's going to take care of us. Nabdo is next due in court on August 4th. He faces up to 10 years in prison if convicted of possession of a firearm, which was the only charge he was faced with on Friday. We're at Fort Hood, Chris Sodge, KXAN News.